So let's go to the final framework and the final tool, which measures our next most important resource, and that is our time. And so let me find it. I know this has been my life plan. Ideal week. Um, so again, I'm using my personal uh, tool as proof that this stuff works, um, but also as a, as a method for inspiring guys to find ways to find a system that works for you. If this system works, makes sense to you and you can adopt it or adapt it to how you live your life and run your business, I really encourage you to take advantage of it. Uh, email me at harveyinspireca.com and I can give you it. Um, and that might help fast track you rather than doing all the, the um, what do they call it? Um, testing and measuring that, that I've really done over the last 10 years to, to come up with these tools. So the idea is that obviously we've only got 24 hours a day, seven days in a week and 365 days in a year. And I think you'll start noticing the common theme is that the most successful business people and, and the most, the, the people who live the most kind of inspirational lives are those who have a bit of control and priority about, you know, where their resources go. So what I've done is, and we do this with our team as well, is map out, you know, what does an ideal week look like? Not every week manages to perfectly work out this way, uh, but if it did, you know, this is, this is how it would be. Again, I don't want to leave any part of my life or my business up to chance. Uh, I'm very much a control freak, and I think most of you would be in, as business leaders. And so I'd rather, you know, have these frameworks in place that put me in a possible chance of success. So the gist, you know, my day starts with the miracle morning that involves you know, a couple of different um, personal rhythms, but it's just about starting the day fresh. We head off into work. I usually use that time to listen to audiobooks, um, and so I can, um, on the way to work and the way from work, I can really power through a good couple of books, um, you know, a week or a fortnight, uh, to really help me be most effective inside of work and outside of work. Now, I'll start with my work framework uh, for now and we can look at business stuff after that. Um, in terms of um, priorities, in our business our team have a number of rhythms that keep us close and keep us on track. So let's start with them. Uh, one of our rhythms is every day at 7.47, which is time, we get together because we start early and we finish early. And we get together in a standing huddle and we share three things. What are we grateful for today? What are our top three priorities for the day? and do we need help in achieving that? And so that gives a way for all our teams to connect with each other, have a bit of a laugh, you know, wake up sometimes because it's fairly early in the mornings uh, and just get clear on you know, what would make today great. So that's Monday to uh, Friday essentially. Uh, on Fridays we do our team thank you and our team work on time. That's what I've just posted in the Inspire Family, detail on us being able to spend some time strategically every week to be able to improve our business or personal lives. Other rhythms I have as a business leader is I have an operational excellence meeting every Monday with our general manager, Catherine. And this is when we update and review our key numbers in the business from all aspects. You know, how fast we're responding to our clients, you know, how much tax we've saved for our clients in the last week, how many new leads came through, how much new revenue came in, what are the expenses, how's our cash position, all of the top 15 numbers that really are important to us. And that's kind of like mission control for, for Catherine and I to make sure our business is humming along and on track. The other rhythm that we have is as a business leader is Ben and I have our weekly board meeting on Monday over lunch. And we've got a set framework for identifying what our business issues are uh, and making sure that him and I are spending time to strategically resolve them. Because uh, I find personally that most of business success is about stopping bad things from happening than they are from starting good things. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have experienced that, but it's kind of like preemptive firefighting. Uh, this year, or well, this quarter in particular, we've got um, some specific training regimes that we're giving to our, our technical team. And so we've built them in, in these times, but that's unique to us. Uh, for me personally, I have a key role in um, marketing and sales in our business. And so I've earmarked out priority time where I'm just gonna hit the phones and talk to business owners and find ways that we can help them uh, and add value. So I map out that time as part of a priority. In my calendar, nobody, not my personal assistant, nobody can book in times during that call session. 
uh, when they can book times in is specifically in predefined sort of slots uh, in my calendar. And our team have similar frameworks for when they can be book, book meetings in. And that really helps. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced it, but if someone goes, hey, let's catch up for a meeting, and you're like, cool, when suits you? And you start this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth of, you know, of all the infinite possibilities of when we could potentially meet, um, you know, let's find, you know, one of them magically to suit. Whereas I like to reduce the available, the availability, so it makes, makes the choices a bit easier to make for everybody. So that's just a little hack that we've done. Uh, and it also means that things that are not our terms rather than, you know, leaving time and meetings up to, to, to chance. Uh, GST here is, is get shit done time. We're a very productive team. And so GST, GSD time is usually time when it's headphones on and no one's allowed to interrupt each other. No phone calls come through because we're just doing getting shit done. <laughs> so that's, you know, what, what, what makes an ideal week for me personally. You might be able to work your own from a business context. Outside of that, We've got adventure Sundays that we do as a family where we just try not to stay around home because I found if we muck around at home on Sunday before you know it, Sunday's over, we've not really got out there and, and lived and enjoyed. So we typically jump on the road pretty early and we go out exploring, head down to the beach, go to the markets, go visit friends and family. And I really try to aim to be away all day, keep my phone as far away from me as possible so I'm not like, kind of in the... Um, business world forever and yeah it's just a really really great way for us personally in our family unit to wrap up the week or in this context start the week afresh uh, i've got gym on saturdays we go to the markets love to play squash love to get a massage love to do a bit of self-love self-care get my hair, hair done um, we always have family nights on fridays and saturdays and um, yeah our rhythms are we have dinner we go for a walk and Miller, my little, uh, she calls me fake dad, so she's my fake stepdaughter. Um, Sarah and I aren't married yet. Um, she goes to bed and that gives Sarah and I some time alone to, to do what we do. Um, Self-love isn't anything dodgy. I'm talking about like having, letting Sarah do, uh, have a facial or whatever, something around those lines. <laughs> Date nights and what's really important is getting some good quality sleep. So you know, that's an overview of the one, two, three, four, five tools or frameworks that I personally could not live without. Um, they've been critical uh, in me running my business and, and my life in such a way that I can pull more money, time and happiness from my business. And I really hope and encourage you to give yourself the gift of doing 20, 2018 in a more strategic way. And I think these five tools will just give you a framework or a platform to be able to do that for yourself. So thank you so much for your attention. We are right on time with our uh, one hour's uh, planned time together. I really hope you found that of value and I can add some value to your life. Again, if you want access to any of those tools, I'll happily give you the neutralized version of them uh, by emailing me harvey at inspireca.com. Same too, if you wanted to share your completed um, bucket list or activities plan or business plan, or ask a couple of questions, I'm more than happy to uh, have them run past me as well. So good luck, encourage you, if you haven't got these systems in place already, give yourself that gift this weekend or sometime in the month of January, so you get your best possible chance of starting in 2018 and making it your best year yet. Thanks guys, talk to you soon.